While most of the attention is on the powerful tornado that ripped through Moore, Oklahoma a couple of weeks ago, smaller communities in the surrounding area were also hit by tornadoes at about the same time. And one member from our community is working to make sure that smaller communities devastated by tornadoes aren't forgotten either. News 8's Pauline Lee now joins us from Moore with her story. Well, Carrie Bendel may be a member of our community, but as an Oklahoma native, she's all too familiar with the devastation tornado season can leave behind in her home state. But it's not just these debris filled streets in more Oklahoma. She's worried about communities, smaller communities recovering from tornadoes face unique challenges. That was where it started. It's devastation that you probably won't see on TV. Yeah, Shawnee and Moore, the, really the only two they showed on the news. Yeah, that's all we saw. Unless you take a drive through some of Oklahoma's countryside. Oh my gosh. Located about an hour outside of Moore, Oklahoma, the small towns of Kearney and Fallis are home to about 670 residents combined. A tornado tore through both towns just the day before. The powerful tornado hit Moore. It ripping the trees right out of the ground. This is what has brought Oklahoma native Carrie Bendell and her family from Onalaska back to her home state. And with them is a U-Haul full of donations she collected from the Cooley region to help these smaller communities that may have escaped the public eye. Because I grew up in a little town about the size of this area, so I know how hard it is. You know, these, these places sometimes get, get forgotten a little bit. Um, they're just tiny little bitty little towns, and that's who I wanted to make sure I helped. We literally have to box up supplies, go to their homes and hand it to them or they just won't take it or they won't come get it. Cheryl Raper is helping organize relief efforts here. She says these small but proud communities face unique challenges in the cleanup. There are houses that if you don't know how to get to them, you don't know that they're there and you don't know that they have been hit. That's what we found out when we started looking for people is they're not coming forward so you don't know that they have damage so you don't know that they need help. And while residents here have a long road ahead, it's compassionate hearts like Bendel's that will help them get back on their feet. You know, you grew up seeing these different kinds of things and it's just, but this was just an extremely devastating one. So it's, just, it's very hard to see, but we're here. Bendel not only dropped off donations, she also stayed to help families in the area clean up and rebuild. Reporting in Moore, Oklahoma, Pauline Lee, News 8. And Oklahoma tornado victims did not just receive food and clean up supplies from our community. Turn in tomorrow night to see how more than $32,000 raised in the Cooley region is helping the Red Cross help others in this time of need.